and I'm back with another travel vlog. This time I'm sharing a recent trip to Los Angeles. We landed at night and there was traffic at the airport as usual. After that, we went straight to the car rental center to pick up our car. The next morning, we woke up bright and early and headed to Universal Studios. As soon as we got there, we went straight to the Harry Potter section of the park. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I was really excited to see all of the amazing rides and attractions. To start the day, we went to Ollivander's Wand Attraction. After that, we walked through Hogsmeade and took in the Harry Potter experience. We also went on the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey ride. Although the wait time was super long, the ride was amazing. Later in the day, we went on the studio tour. This was a must-do for any film and TV enthusiasts. It's a fun and interactive way to learn about the history of the film industry and see some of the most iconic sets and sound stages in Hollywood. I'm a big fan of movies and in particular the Fast and Furious franchise. It was awesome to see the set cars in real life and go on the Fast and Furious ride. It was cool to see the behind the scenes and it was engaging throughout the ride. After spending the day at the park, we went to the Sisters Cafe for dinner. It was a great choice, especially on a chilly winter night in California. The warm bowl of pho was exactly what we needed. On the second day, I started my day off at the Californian Science Museum. I've always been interested in science and space, so I was really excited to see the Endeavour spaceship up close. It was an incredible experience to see such an important piece of history and learn more about the incredible feats of the astronauts who flew in it.
After the museum, we found a taco truck nearby and ate some delicious Mexican food. After that, we drove to Santa Monica. As we walked along the pier, we saw all sorts of fun attractions. One of the best things about Santa Monica Pier is that it's always buzzing with activities. There's always street performers, musicians, and artists all around, making it a great place to people watch and soak up the laid back Californian vibe. We got to see the beautiful sunset over the ocean. We sat and watched the sunset for a while, taking in the peaceful environment and enjoying the beauty of the natural world. On the last day, I took it easy and just relaxed. I spent some time walking around the city and checking out some local shops and restaurants. I treated myself to a delicious sushi lunch at Sugarfish. After that, we dropped by Little Tokyo and we got some somi somi to wrap up the day. And that's the end to my recent LA trip.